What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and sister players? You already know what it is. It's your girl 5109 back with another, another freaking YouTube video. Yeah, we back on it. And um, yeah, as you can see today, I got on a shoe polish shirt or whatever. Yes, I do. Um, no, I do not currently work at shoe polish. But if you know me and if you've seen my past videos, you know that I did work at Shoe Palace. Please don't mind my face. I didn't feel like putting no makeup on. We straight face today. We straight face. No lip gloss, no eyebrows, no eyelashes, no nothing. Just plain. Shoe Palace shirt. Um, I recently got asked a question on one of my past YouTube videos of my first day at Shoe Palace. How to get hired there, what to do what's where all those things we're gonna go through that so <laughs> y'all can get it together and if y'all want to know how to get hired at Foot Locker I also work at Foot Locker so just let me know comment down below let me know what y'all need to do let me know what you want I mean I can teach you how to get hired at Starbucks Safeway Panda Express um Target like whatever you want I don't work it all um because I get bored and I move on quick but anyways um yeah let's get to it so first thing first what to wear to a interview at shoe palace so practically you want to look fly as hell like you want to look fly like clean crisp um in a lot of different interviews you know most people at regular interviews you get dressed up Stuff, like look real nice real dapper down whatever this is shoe palace dress to impress for what you're doing okay um frankly when i came i don't even know what shoes i did my interview in but make sure you got on some really nice shoes like some ones or something be ready be prepared to get asked what your favorite shoe is um yeah just dress real nice like streetwear you want to dress like streetwear you don't want to dress like you know no don't dress i mean you could dress in a suit and tie if you want to just because it's professional but like i said dress streetwear dress real fly like show that you could actually showcase what you're wearing in your shoes is your main focal point so you want to make sure that looks good um number two when we get up in an interview you want to sound really confident in what you're talking about um one they don't ask you type questions like how do you work in a team how do you lead what do you do to lead you know things like that um as far as you being in a more than likely you're going for an associate position um it's really a salesperson position um just to be like i make sure my team's good if i see somebody down you know i'm gonna make sure i pick them up i'm gonna make sure i do this i'm gonna make sure i do that like they want to see what you personally can bring to the team because mm, you know a lot of people come saying the same thing but they want to see what you got you know um most shoe places will ask you what your favorite shoe is and why so to be honest if you wear some type of shoe say you got on some 11 please know what the shoe is called because don't don't just come with some 11s on and they be like oh yeah your breads is cool and you don't even know what they're talking about you like breads what are what are bread what's on your feet breads um, so make sure you know what your uh, shoe is called and if you truly gonna get into this industry make sure um, that you know the history behind your shoes because if it's, the shoes are something you're passionate about that's what you want to do and I would say this is not the job for you if you're not passionate about shoes because now let's get into after you done got hired yeah let's get into that um so it's pretty simple basically once you get hired they're gonna teach you the back walls the front walls 
um you want to be able to get in and get out and get a shoe within 40 seconds because don't nobody i know y'all all done been to a shoe store and then have to sit there and wait for your shoe like that is so unprofessional i need you to know where your shoes is at baby i need you in and out running back and forth doing your stuff and that's one thing shoe palace is big on different from foot locker they're big on hospitality and showing your customers a good time now nowadays since corona they are not really like as strict as they used to but when there wasn't corona you used to have to untie the shoe loosen it up put it on their foot like shoe palace is serious about their customers foot locker is more of a bigger company you know so they a little not as extreme but shoe palace is trying to get to where foot locker is at and so past them you know so they're big on stuff like that and knowing your shoes once again you need to know colorways you need to know all that you need to know the names of the shoes you need to know the history behind the shoes because to be honest when you know the history behind a shoe it makes your sales go so much better you'd be surprised how many people have bought shoes for me just because i knew the history behind the shoe like that is so 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 important it's 100 percent important to do 100 percent important to know um when it comes down to colors a lot of people don't um know what they're coming into a shoe store to look for um but the main thing is there's a counter telling you how many people are coming in and out of the shoe store that's your daily uh you have to hit a certain mark everybody has a sales goal that they need to meet like some may say okay you personally you need to make two thousand dollars today you need to sell us two thousand dollars worth of shoes uh you might only have to sell five hundred dollars worth of shoes um that comes with the territory you must know how to upsell and what i mean by upsell is that person walking the door they don't know what they're looking for okay your shoes are nice how you doing today sir oh i see your kicks your kicks real nice yeah that's them um black history month 95s yeah did you know what those was about those was about you know uh black people coming out of slavery and this is really them breaking the chains and you know uh, you done sat there and explained to them what they have on. Now, oh, did you know what you were looking for today? Oh, not, not for sure. Are you shopping for you or are you shopping for somebody else? Oh, you're shopping for yourself? What colors do you like? You know what? What size are you? You know what? I think I got a shoe, few shoes in the back that you might like. You have to be like that. You have to be on point because you have to meet your sale goals. When I tell you... Not that you would get fired for doing that, but it's, it's not fired for doing that, but fired for not meeting your quota. Like, this is really important when it comes to the shoe business. You must meet your sales goal because it, what are you doing for me if you can't even sell a shoe? Um, sometimes when it comes to selling a shoe, I would say that make sure you upsell like i said so what i mean by upsell is shoe cleaners always hit them with the oh we got to buy one get one free or um shoe cleaners for ten dollars you know if you spray on this that and the third it, it, it waterproofs it you could even ask your manager if you could spray in the beginning of your shift you go ahead and get a shoe out of the box spray a shoe down with the waterproof and let it dry out you know Get a little trash can every time you're trying to show somebody like what they do pour a little water on a shoe people be like oh i want to buy it you just made a whole nother sale and not only is it just about the sale it's about the units because now your units is going up because there's a list weekly on top sales you know so if you done sold three units you doing good because you just sold three units in one sale like there's just many ways to upsell though like Yo, you could a these clothes match these shoes you know you just want to like work it in there you're really a sales person 
uh, working as a shoe person, you're really a salesperson and you want to make sure that you're able to sell, like I said. Um, what else have I not touched? I would say everybody, every state is different. Um, there really is no minimum or maximum pay. Uh, where I work in I was in California, the Oakland area. I got paid 16 an hour. And that was for a regular regular position. So it, it just all depends. Um, I would also say that shoe college is, they are a opportunity store. So it's really easy to work your way up, all you have to do is prove yourself. Like I said, make your sales, and you can work your way up to manager, sales lead, all that real fast. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, if y'all got any more questions, like just let me know. I can let y'all run y'all through the ins and outs, you know. Um, but yeah, she thought this a really cool place to work. <laughs> It, it, depending on the one you work at, it's like a family. Like, it's not a lot of beef in there. It's cool. Like, I don't know. People that sell shoes is cool in general. But, yeah. Thanks for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. Peace and players. I already love you. This is that girl. Ooh. It's your girl, 51099. Um. Oh, thank you for hitting a thousand subscribers, you know. And... I'm gonna be making a lot more videos whatever y'all want y'all know y'all just comment like comment subscribe fuck some shit i like y'all y'all know y'all is my people deuces